Okay, so we just drove up the most insane road and then it was blocked off. And I thought I was gonna have to drive all the way back down that insane thing, but we think that this is the right spot. And look at the cool view that that's back there. See that? So hopefully, hopefully we're at the right farm and we don't show up at some stranger's house and say, hey, we want to sleep by on your hay. <laughs> I hope we're at, this is it. This is it. No, it's our friends that we're dog sitting for a, a oh. friend. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. We go up and then when we're up above, we literally are going to sleep on the hay. So you're to bring your own sleeping bag and then you just sleep on the hay and you're in the farm like this. Wake up and you see farmland. Pretty cool, huh? You're sleeping in a barn. I don't know if you can see up there, but we're in a barn house. We'll have better footage, I think, in the morning time. <laughs> Cece's on a farm. This is where we're staying tonight. How pretty their house is. Oh my gosh. And that's where we're staying. In the farmhouse. How'd you girls sleep last night? Good. Yeah? Did you sleep good, Julia? Yeah, it was good. It's just there's a little... They turned the so road into a cow walkway. Sissy, no! 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 So the road that we took yesterday to come up here wasn't the actual correct road. We were supposed to come like around the other side and we ended up coming up some farmer's field road. <laughs> it was private. It was their road, but it was the wrong road. So anyway, we made it. And uh, how'd we all sleep? Good. good. Pretty good. It's just for me, it was a little cold so I put a blanket in mine. Yeah, it was- I was cold last night. Oh my gosh, I was freezing last night for a little bit. And then I got daddy to wear me up. I'm and then I'm wearing my warm one. pajamas. And you're wearing your warm pajamas. I wear a hoodie to the bed with like my hat and hoodie up. I want to be Titanic. And now we're just going to play some Monopoly. I'm Titanic. While we're waiting for breakfast. We said breakfast for 8.30, thinking we have lots of time and that we usually sleep in. Um, but we were up at like, I was up at 6.30 or something like that. I woke up at 6.30 because so like, you guys are being so loud. Yeah, we were being loud. I woke loud. up like, where's Chloe? Where and is I'm you? starving. My belly's growling and it's so hungry. What? Where, how long do we have to wait? Another 25 minutes and then we can eat. And we heard the cows mooing and the... The, the dog went crazy. The rooster. 
Yeah. And the hay is really comfy. The hay is really comfy. So we slept, Tyler and I slept on the like loose kind of foam things and the girls slept on the hay next to two people from Germany. So, so what is it, Julia? Mm. Yogurt with apples. Yogurt with apples. And the juice? Do you know what it is? No. no. It's an unsweetened juice. juice. And then we've got so cheese got, try it and yummy bread yes. and probably some homemade jams. Oh, the ducky's scared. Oh, poor ducky. No, I don't think she wants that, sweetie pie. I don't think she should drink it. And this is where we stayed last night. Off we go to Appenzeller. This is the real road to leave on, not the road we took to going in. This road's much better, huh? Compared to what we took. So here, we're out in the middle of what would feel like nowhere, and yet they have all the signs for all the different trails that you can walk to get to all the different areas. And then they show you if there's gonna be a train at that stop. This is what blows my mind. Look at the Swiss farmers, they like farm on a hill. It's like the tractors are going sideways up the mountain. Over there, you see that? So to stay at that place, we paid for each adult $27.50, included breakfast. Julia paid $17. And she put Angelica's under 10, so that was nice of her. So we paid 13 for the girls. So that's good because it includes breakfast. And then we didn't have sleeping bags for the girls, so we paid five bucks for each sleeping bag. And Tyler and I had actual blankets from the other room. So it was a total of 113 francs for all of us to stay, including breakfast, which is pretty good considering it's Switzerland. 